Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This video is a quick look at how you can use the high voltage tube frame mounting system to get a back 2000 mounted on your bike. This is largely aimed at the CYC X1 Pro users who are looking for a way to fit the back 2000 but would work really for anybody looking to fit this controller to a tube frame style bike. After a quick overview I'm going to go through some assembly instructions for people that are using them. These work with your existing wiring harnesses so there's no need to make any changes to the wiring to use this mounting kit. Every mount is custom shaped to the tube frame on your bike and in order to ensure a good fit I send out templates which can be printed and used to confirm the shape and make changes if I need to. I can print these in a ton of different colours. This one here is in the carbon fibre black PETG. Um, I can put custom logos and stuff, whatever people want really and they come with these um, high strength UV resistant zip ties and it mounts onto the bike through these two points here. So if I put one through and put the other through and then this just wraps around the, uh, the bottom tube or the down tube usually but we've done them with seat tubes, we've done them with top tubes and they work really really well. You can use the metal ones if you prefer um, but I've found for most purposes these have been perfectly fine. And then you have cable routing to the back for the phase wires and also for the battery connection and that takes it towards the motor which is generally where you want it to go. So I think it's pretty much enclosing as much of the back 2000 as is really possible without adding too much extra bulk to it. I've made about a dozen of these now and they're being used all over the world to let people mount their back 2000s onto tube frame bike kits. My favourite part of this is that I get to personalise these mounts and be a part of people's light electric vehicle build. If you're interested in me making one of these for you then there are some links in the descriptions for more information. Um, we're now going to have a look at some of the parts you get with the kit and how to go together. Let's have a look at the different parts that you get with the kit and how they go together. So you get two end blocks that look like this. You can engrave in these if you want and they're shaped to take a, a zip tie through the middle. So two of those, you get two side plates here that take most of the bolts that hold the, the back on. Uh, you get two top plates here and these cover up the wiring. Uh, you get a whole bunch of bolts to put it all together. Um, you get some grip tape to help go in here um, and help it stick on the bike well. And you get two uh, high strength zip ties and these are tested 120 pounds I believe. But I mean two of them are more than enough and they are um, EV resistant as well. It's not a particularly uh, complicated thing to install um, and you start off by removing the existing bolts on the back. So you've got one, two, three four, five, six, and they're M4 bolts. And we're gonna be replacing them with just slightly longer M4 bolts that take into account the extra bulk of the of the part. And you're gonna start off with um, the with the end blocks, um, or the mounting blocks. And they just snap on to the heat sink there. And then you take the other one on the other side, and that just snaps onto the heat sink there as well and they just generally um, friction fit on there um, and from here then we're going to be putting uh, the two side panels on and that's going to hold the whole thing together and you don't have to worry too much about these um, you don't have to tighten them too much like over torque them and just be careful when you put them on because this is uh, aluminum that you're not sort of getting them misaligned and, and cross threaded so they should go in quite nice and easy um, and if they don't check that you've got these end blocks fitted correctly. So once the mounting blocks are on the ends we're going to put the side panels on and there is a bit of a difference. Um, this is the side that you want to put where the, the plugs are going to be coming out of. Um, so for this side um, with the logo we're going to put that one on there and for that you're going to need uh, four of the M5 14 millimeter bolts and three of the M4 20 millimeter bolts. And those bolts, they just go in fairly easy. Um, you just line them up. So the M5s 
go in the outside that go into the blocks and then the M4s run into the aluminum heatsink on the back and all you really have to watch out for is not to get them cross threaded but it's been made to the millimeter so they should they should line up pretty good so I'll get these in and then we'll flip it around and we'll do the other side so once all the bolts are done for this side you just flip it over to the other side which is where the plugs go and just repeat the process and I'm not going to make you watch me put all these bolts in <laughs> so at this point um, if you're done testing out the unit um, you can actually attach this to the bike frame at this point and you do that with the with the two zip ties and they just route through here on one side and then the other one routes through there on the other side and that's how it attaches around the uh, the tube frame of the bike and you can get all your wiring prepared and you can get that all all plugged in there and then from that point what you can do is you need to get the top plates in and they cover everything up. This part here which is for the uh, main harness wire and the phase wires you need to feed the wires through these before you start plugging in things like the display or plugging the um, the whole sensor wire into the motor because once it's all plugged you can't fit this around them so this part needs to be done first and then when you come to fit the whole thing together this slots into this part here and this goes on that side there and then the other part goes on this and this covers everything up uh, as much as, as is possible for the particular frame. You can use this part as well to um, fit in here and this provides a bit of grip around the frame. You can put some on the other side for this to, to bite into as well if you want to do so. And you can also use the, the metal versions of these if you're putting this um, like on a seat tube or some other part of the bike where you need a bit more power to hold it in the uh, in the right position um, but that is essentially the unit there um, so if you have any questions on it um, please ask uh, there'll be a full guide with all this information on the high voltage website and there'll be links in the description for that so thanks very much for watching the channel and cheers so I just add on, uh, I just uh, realized that I forgot to say these are, these are the M5, the 8mm bolts, and these are what hold the, the side panels on here. Um, so they just pop into there. And because there isn't really a lot of force required for these, these are just self-tapping into the, into the plastic here.